Nanjengoko umpatiswa weze midhalo inkubeko na masiko mnomzana nati mtetwa Ekupe intetwa ya keko nondaba ngomtla wa mashumi ya matatu kunyanga kakanzebe Uambise wenjenje Nanjengoko singena kuingana abalesi tatu le lockdown Nelivu mela ukubu iselo wa kweze midhalo pantu kwe mikatango Yencholongwa na COVID-19 kulindeleke oku glandelayo Zinga pelanga insuko ezilishumi elnesine ingonyela ye zamanye ndi mzanzi Afrika mnomzana tulufelo lichaka ulindeleke ukuba atulise ukwepu Lwesi kiniseki iso kumpatiswa nilingi na yo ukuba inda wazo kuzlolonga zembeti manye ndi zia ambilana ni mikaliselo ye ncholongwa na COVID-19 Olu kwe pulwe skunseki so luli ndeleke ukuba li katwe yi afidavit nekwende nesa ukuba wonke umtu ozdolonga kwe zindao. Ako suleleka nga yi ncholongwa ne COVID-19 kwa ye zimbeti manyendi ez nempe pamvome ziga BSA oko ukuti Boxing South Africa. Ukwepu olu lukwa lindeleke ubalu tueli ise imisa iku nensuku eku zovu luangayo la maziko oku zlolonga. O kukulungsele la ukuba aba pati ya wase mtetweni bencholongwa na COVID-19 Boku wazu kwa nduendwe la lama ziko kuzlolonga benga lindele ganga Egufumene oku umnomza na utulufelo lichaka ingonye la eza manga indi Mzanz Afrika Uye wa nduendwe la empu makapa inga kumbe monti na semu Tanzane Na lapo ebeo shola ubume bama ziko okuzlolonga kwe mbeti manga indi zeli pondo Kusuku loku kala lo kele lo lwa ke umpati o inkwa kwa manye ndi kweli Uye wa nduendwe la lama ziko ala ndilayo wogu zikakresha kwa mbeti manye ndi Sinako boxing club ni selula ulue ni luka ben mkialiseko Wonder boy boxing gym epe kleshwa ngumno mzana upila mapeta mzamo Zakele boxing gym Nemikala ya yo iku zulua ngumno mzana utula ni mslubu ngwana. Mob Jim, kandike yo na ipeta shwa ngumno mzana ujo ni mrot. Masenze Boxing Jim, nekoke lua ngumno mzana ukoli sile tengani. Duncan Village Academy, ipanzi kwa laulo luka mno mzana umza mochif njegana. Lwabe lupela njalo ukele lolo suklo kala lompati wa inkoko weza manina indi kwe lumno mzana tulufelo lijaka. Ukanti kusuku lwesmini nililo kebela lo kele lolo kamno mzana utulufelo lijaka umpati wa inkoko weza manina indi mzanzi Afrika. Uye wakele la ama konga wakatesho lwe mbiti manina indi za sembu makoloni. Esi ya gaya na M. Danzane, Singabalu la Ezi Zilandi layo, Mecca Boxing Academy. Epe tashwa ngumno mzana utembani kopeni, Pilani Boxing Club, yona ilaulua ngumno mzana luvuyo ya mzashe. Sisonke Boxing Club, epe tashwa ngumno mzana uluyanda sovasi. Wapuma wenche njalo ngumno mzana ukwea, E Howard Ben Primary School na lapo umnumza na upo pisi kiana kekakresha kona imbeti manyendi zaki. Uka ndike kolu kele lolo wake umnumza na uli jaka. Ebe nga ambieto wa ebe kachwa nguye umpati o intro kwa za manyendi pondwe nila sempu makapa umnumza na upagamele Jacobs. This work that we are doing is a culmination of the build up we've been busy with behind the scenes as Box in South Africa. You'll remember that after announcement of the lockdown uh, on the 26th of March, we gave a directive to our boxers that uh, they should refrain from training, refrain from competition, but we indicated that we would continue to be working uh, remotely. So we've been working uh, since then, just that we're not in the office. So on the 28th of uh, May, two days before the minister's directive, we had our own special board meeting. And from that board meeting, uh, we took a decision that we need to prepare for resumption of sport. So you can't prepare at competition level. You need to build it up from the training facilities because that is where our worry was at. That some of our gyms might be below par. Their capacity to comply with COVID-19 measures might not be where we would love them to be. So the board signed off that we should then undertake a roadshow to assess the state of readiness at the facilities, but also overall 
state of capacity. So in Eastern Cape here, we arrived yesterday on Thursday. We saw about six gyms, and today we were then tackling the last six, uh, so that we in overall touch 12 gyms with the purpose of looking at what are the gaps. If Boxing South Africa is to intervene, where should that intervention be? Somewhere it will be the issue of strengthening leadership within the gyms. Somewhere it's an issue of shortage of certain supplies. Somewhere it's just an issue of assisting to introduce or reinforce the culture of compliance so that your health hygiene and overall COVID-19 compliance measures are upgraded.